you're going to fail so much if you're going to become great. Listen to me. You're going to get hit in the mouth. If you don't want to get hit in the mouth, that means you're playing a small life. Just like he came out, and this is the life that we live, okay? It's cool. Now he sees us here. He's been here three days now. He's going to go home and he's going to operate differently because he knows there's a new standard to operate at. And he's going to steal it, which I want him to. That's why we're all here. And I want him to go affect his own life, his family's life, his future family, and everybody who's around them by the things that he's seen today. But he's going to have to courage. He's going to have the courage to get rid Rejected. He's going to have to have the courage to tell people, to, people say, hey, you're f***ing stupid, man. That's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. And is he going to stay around and listen to it and try to argue with them? Or is he going to say, you and just move on his own way and keep going? That's what he has to do. Now, I want to say something. This is important. Everybody understand this. Do you know that when you lose your will because something doesn't work right, that's where we lose a lot of good men and women. Okay, let me explain what I mean. I'm going to use you, and I mean it. Come here. I've trained this guy for two years. Okay, we won't talk about businesses or anything, but we're going to talk about something. He called me two years ago. He's about to quit. He's about to quit his job. He's a manager of a dealership. He's making 100 grand a year. He's giving his family up. He hates his life. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I said? No way. You're going to go resign as a manager. You're going to de, like de-promote yourself. And you're going to go back to selling. And you're going to fall in love with the game again. Because the game, you have to stay in love with, especially if you're going to lead a team. Okay? And you did. And guess what happened? He made 250000 the next year selling cars. Woo! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Now watch. As he's making this money and he's going crazy and he's falling in love with the game, he didn't save a lot of money. Because see, when you make a lot of money, you want to spend a lot of money, right? Yeah. When a guy goes from making 500 grand to a million, he's like, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> so he's like, oh, I got shit like millionaires have, right? I got to go buy a $50,000 watch. Mm. I gotta go have a, no, no, but this is what happens. You do do it and you don't mean to do it, but you want to prove to yourself that you've made it. You don't have anything to prove. Mm. Listen to me. You want to go, go buy a nice watch if it motivates you? If it does, go get one. That's fine. But it better motivate you so much that you'll make that same money right back in your pocket that next month. Do you understand? Yeah. We don't buy shit we can't afford. And by the way, I know this is in the world we live in, and I'm not trying to tell you to spend your money, but I'm trying to tell you he made a lot of money, spent some, had fun, went crazy, head gets strong, I'm ready, baby. He was in training. He came to seven or eight master or seminars in one year. He was always here. He never ran, never worked out. I told him, dude, you're fat, you're lazy, get here. He came, he went and ran 10 miles with us at a freaking Spartan race, right? He got three weeks to train for it. Every day. What did that prove? It proved that if you want something, no one can stop you from having it. Am I right? right, right. This cat gets it. Yeah. He's just, he feels powerful. He feels psycho. His wife and his kids are sitting right over here with him in the seminar. His son is with him. He's on the journey with his family. Everything's going great. He's on a, he's on a runner's high. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He decides to start his own business. Quits his car sales job, says, dude, I am ready to go to the next level. Listen to me. I'm, I'm super proud of him. Guys, listen to me. Lean into failure. Failure hits, you lean into that. You hit that back and you keep going. You're going to fail so much if you're going to become great. Listen to me. You're going to get hit in the mouth. If you don't want to get hit in the mouth, that means you're playing a small life. Dude, if you want to go live in a corner, put a blanket on you, be fed three times a day and stay safe and let nobody 
with you, right? Then like go work for an hourly and salary job. But if you want to have an adventurous life, you want to feel pressure, feel anxiety, feel winning, and feel losing, which feels good. I like disappointment. I like it. When you don't get what you want, you get disappointed, dude, that makes me a better man. It's good for me not to get everything that I want. When I give my kids everything I want, they're spoiled. My wife gives me everything I want, I'm spoiled. I need some no's in my life. Because if I got yes, what would ever make me hungry? I need some rejection. He goes, starts his business, guess what happens? Maxes all his credit cards out. Goes broke, he's down to E. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> he's scared to show his face. Did you yawn? I'm watching your ass. Hold on, hold on. All right, listen to me. He's been gone for a couple months because he won't show his face. He's embarrassed. Guys, if someone in this life gives everything that they have, He's one. Guys, money is not what we're after. We are after becoming the best versions of ourselves and proving that we are re refined by the fire. And if you really want to play a big life, if you do, you are going to get tortured with losses. You are going to get your ass kicked. You are going to get with, you're going to get burned. Do listen to me. You're going to get hit mouth all the time. And the bigger you go, the harder the punches land. <laughs> but when you know you're going to get hit, it's not shocking. I know when I drive down the road that there's going to be a pothole in the road. So I don't, I hold on to the steering wheel. When I hit the pothole, I just go right over it. Keep flying. I got a big ass Jeep. Whenever most people are in their little baby ass bitch cars, which I call a small mindset, small mindset, you're, you're driving life like there ain't no potholes. You're like, oh, I good. You hit a pothole and you're like, oh, off the road, hide your plane, hit a tree, you're dead. No, no, it's like, does that make sense? It's like, dude, are we going to have potholes? Are you going to get rejected? Yes. Yes, but you got to get pissed off. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay? And that's why I told him this week, and as he's looking at me, I can tell he wanted to cry. Because he doesn't feel worthy to be here when he was here and he was on top. He was here and he was the example. And now he's here and he's not anymore. Dude, welcome to the entrepreneur game. Welcome. That's it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.